Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing a monthly reading for the month of November 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. Let's see what it's going to be for you guys for the month of uh, November. Uh, we'll be adding uh, oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added so stay tuned and while I shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and uh, yep, let's get into the reading. Let's find out what is heading towards you guys and the month of November. Let's begin. Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. I do see that somebody is interested in you. Somebody is madly in uh, love with you and it's, it's something, it's, a, it's somebody that you don't know about. It's somebody new. It's somebody who is... Um, who might have been watching you from a distance. It, it doesn't have to be, like when I say it, it's somebody new, I feel like you know, this person is somebody who um, who might have been in your friend zone, colleague zone, or somewhere, or, you know, around those lines, but they, you don't, you have no idea who this person is. And they have been kind of, you know, uh, watching you, chasing you in one way or the other. And this person is pretty much interested in you. They, they they find you very attractive they find you as their dream person uh they do see that you could be the one for them um but i feel like you know for some reasons i feel like you know you you have somebody or somebody else on your mind like you know whoever this person is who is watching you is it seems like you know this person is um they don't know you much even if they are somebody from your friend zone they they are like maybe friends of friends and friends of friends it it, it it's not somebody who is uh, who's directly linked to you and that's why they do see you from a distance they don't talk to you i don't think that this person is somebody who maybe you know if they maximum have talked to you would have been like hi hello that's it but I feel like, you know, they are interested in you and you are like, you know, already in either in communication with someone, in relationship with someone, or maybe you have somebody else on your mind. And that could be the reason why you never focused on them. That could be the reason why you never observed them. That could be the reason why you always, um, you know, uh, fail to understand that there is one person, you know, uh, chasing you as well. Because you have always been in your own thoughts around a specific someone that you might be interested in. Um, in that case too, I feel like, you know, it, whatever, whoever it is that you are interested in, um, that person, it's, it's more like, you know, you have a crush on someone, someone else has a crush on you. That's what I'm picking up because I feel like, you know, your energy is pretty much same towards that person. You, you see them from a distance. You do feel like, you know, maybe I can be with them and they are the perfect one and stuff like that. And then there is another person who is thinking the same way for you. Let's see more cards here. Seven of Wands, <laughs> Knight of Swords, and the Empress. Let's take one more card. Four of Swords. Uh, it's it's like uh, it seems like you know if if um. I feel like you know whoever it is that you are interested in, you 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 are going to reject the person that is coming your way for that one person even though there is nothing fixed between you and this person that you are interested in uh for some of you maybe you know whoever it is that you are interested in maybe this is somebody that uh that is like not it it could be pretty much one-sided love that you have for someone but then there is another person who is interested in you but you are going to reject them because you're going to tell them no i'm already in love with this specific someone and you you feel so committed to that one person whoever it is that you feel love for but it's um this person entering in your life is definitely going to make you think of this person as a choice as a, you know maybe you could give a give a chance to this person why because the person that you are interested in right now they are somebody who uh who is whose energy is not around you like you know that means that they are either detached from you or um in separation from you or they they don't even know that you love them so that's what i'm picking up very strongly let's see what's underneath the deck two of cups very strong love 
I feel like you know you you have um, some sort of feelings for this person, especially if it's a crush. You you feel like you know this person could be the one, and you feel like you know you, you daydream about this person is what I'm picking up. There is a big difference in daydreaming and visualization for manifestation. I, I do see you daydreaming around it. I don't see you, you know, having the visualization and stuff like that where, where you're so sure that you want this person to be yours. And that's the reason why you would be considering this person um, who is coming forward. Eventually, you know, eventually you're going to consider them. But I feel like, you know, when they're going to reach out to you, you're going to tell them, oh, I'm not, I, I, I believe like, you know, there is somebody I'm interested in or I'm already taken or something around those lines. But since you're gonna see no progress in this connection that you have with a specific someone, or the you know the whatsoever uh, feeling that you have for a specific someone, I do think that you will be considering this new person uh, later on. Not not in this month, but I do see that you will be thinking of them and the proposal that they made to you, because uh, because you really want your love life to move forward, and then I do see at the end of the day you will be accepting think this proposal this person is bringing you in your life the new person i do see you accepting the proposal the communication the friendship i don't think it's going to rush into so you know to the next level to the to the level where you're going to be committed in a relationship that fast but i feel like you know you're going to start communicating you're going to be friends and that's how you're going to strengthen the bond and with this person whoever you are interested in i feel like you know, that thing is missing there is no bond between you and this person and with this new person entering in your life, you will have a big, you know, um, uh, strong connection, strong bond, where you would be talking, where you would be spending time together. And that's how you're going to start feeling love for each other. And that's how you will be accepting this person's love. And it's, it's going to be like... Um, hold on. It's going to be a tough decision for you. Why? Because you still have your heart, uh, you know, there's, a, there's still some love for this person that you, that you have on your mind. It's going to be hard for you to finally, you know, um, make up your mind around this one person who is new. Um, but I do see that eventually you're going to take that decision. Yes, because, because you really want... Um, it will be, to be very honest, it will be different for different people. Maybe you're going to choose the person if, if they come back in your life to offer you. For some of you, you might be choosing them because there is this uh, emperor coming along as well. So for some of you, maybe, maybe you know, the moment you choose to move on, the person that you, are, you have been waiting on for will also come back to, to give you what you've been waiting for. Especially if you have been in a connection with that person already. And it was like, you know, very one-sided, like, you know, you, you love them, they never loved you back. You, you wanted them to be, you know, your person, they never wanted you to be their person. If that's the case, that has been the case, then the moment you detach yourself, the moment you, not just detach, to be very honest, I feel like you know, the moment you move on and say okay to this new person and choose to, you know, or maybe even start thinking of this person, maybe the person that you have been uh, in love with, they will come back in your life. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tricky situation in the month of November for you where you will have to choose between two people, one from the past or the one that you are, the one that you love or the one who love you. Let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys in the month of November. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like, you know, you feel a lot of passion, love for this, uh, you know, person from the past, from the person, the person that you are, you know, you feel committed to at times. Um, and when it comes to the person that is entering in your life, they feel the same way for you. I feel like you know, they have been into you for since forever. I don't know why I'm picking up that energy. They never express their love, but maybe they have been into you since forever. Let's see one more card. Be bold and make the first move. For some of you, the energies could be completely reversed. And in that situation, you will have to be the bold person to make the first move. Um... Wow, I'm picking up another story here with this. 
maybe there is somebody that you have loved all your life and maybe you never express your love for that person ever and you you always had your guards up against it like you making the first move was never your thing but maybe now you're going to do that maybe now you're going to reach out to this person propose them and express your love and passion for them in that situation too i feel like you know um you would be the one the the you know the 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 messages that i mentioned earlier or you know put out earlier i feel like you know in that situation you will be the reversed person actually and i feel like in you know, whoever you know if if it's you who have you know somebody on your mind like you know the person that you love since forever if that's you who loved a person since forever and you never had the courage to go and propose them i do see you would be doing that in this month time you are going to make the first move maybe you you, you maybe you are a feminine uh, energy and that's why uh, you always had your guards up against like you know reaching out to them because you felt like you know it's never it's not normal for you to you know propose the guy and that's 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 something which the universe is asking you to take the you know to take the step for be bold and take that first move towards your person that you love and i do see that they will be accepting it but for very few of you the energies like i said if if it is and if it is reversed then maybe your person has somebody else in their life so there is like you know i do see some sort of triangle in this situation and it's going to be different for different people who's who is going to choose who but um i do see there is a you know um tough decision in your love life that you have to take in okay in the in the month of november you will have a choice basically be that choice to reach out to them or not to reach out to them or maybe choice between two people or maybe a choice to reach back to the person that you left earlier in the past so let's see which color is going to be lucky for you in the month of november violet balance uh, create a balanced life 45 for some of you you might be around that age like you know uh, late 30s to 40s uh, is what i'm picking up especially if you have been with this person since forever or if you've been waiting for this time to propose them to to accept the love coming from them I feel like, you know, um, maybe you are, you know, kind of, you know, when this person enters, when this new person enters in your life, for some of you, maybe you are like in that age where you are, you really want your love life to move forward. And that's why maybe you, you would be considering the person who is in love with you and leaving the person who you love. And because you really want that, you know, in your life now. And you really want to have a balanced life, leaving, you know, living the life with your friend, uh, with your kids, with the husband, with your, with your wife and stuff. And the moment you decide, okay, fine, I'm ready to take that path, which leads me towards my life partner. The life partner will enter in your life because I feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe the new person is your life partner. For others of you, maybe the past person is your life partner. And that's why this person is going to enter back in your life because you are going to be manifesting your life partner with that attitude where you know that you, you don't want to settle in for less, you really want your love life to move forward and that's how your past person is going to come back in your life. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the month of November. If the reading resonated with you or if it helped you or guided you in one way or the other or if you are willing to, uh, you know, um, then um, if you're willing to get a, you know, a personal reading or anything around those lines, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. If it helped you in any way, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.